and racism. Football has never been more unified in its message that diversity matters. Remarkable then that even at this moment, the man at the very top of the FA chose to use language that is both outdated and offensive. If I look at what happens to high profile female footballers, high profile coloured footballers and the abuse they take on social media. He apologised when prompted, but then went on to describe being gay as a choice before turning to women's football. I talked to a female coach. She said, what's the issue with goalkeepers in the women's game? And she said, young girls, when they take up the game, six, seven, eight, just don't like having the ball kicked out them hard. It's time for change. All this just weeks after the FA itself launched a well-received code promoting diversity within the game's leadership. But Clark wasn't finished. If you look at top-level football, the Afro-Caribbean community is overrepresented versus the South Asian community. If you go to the IT department, to the FA, there's a lot more South Asians than there are Afro-Caribbeans. They have different career interests. His comments attracted widespread anger and a degree of disbelief. It's staggeringly inappropriate. I think if it was one comment, uh, you might be able to forgive that as a slip of the tongue. But it wasn't. It was three or four comments, and all of them uh, completely inappropriate. And really, it's a sort of litany of absurd stereotypes. Hours later, he was gone, saying my unacceptable words in front of Parliament were a disservice to our game and to those who watch, play, referee and administer it. England players at the forefront of driving change say today proves it is a slow process. Those comments today probably highlight even more than I could, even more than what the code can, even more than what um, players or staff can, that, that we still got a long way to go. Former England international Leanne Sanderson told me the FA now has the chance to make a bold statement with its next choice of leader. Now, this is given an opportunity for people to do the right thing and choose a person that's not only a diverse person, but somebody that actually has a clue of what's going on around them and can genuinely help people and want to help people. Today's hearing was designed to help pull football out of its current crisis. It has served only to plunge it into another one. Steve Scott, News at 10.